Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning to those on the West Coast. It's Karen Grunberg at Brand USA. I'm excited that you were able to join us before you all take off for the Labor Day holiday weekend. Um, we have a very exciting presentation that our team at HighLink will be presenting regarding the whole OTA and OTP market in China. And so what I'd like to do is turn this over to our facilitator for this afternoon, um, Michael Horvitz with HighLink. And he has been working with our partners on helping us to develop the program. Good morning. Good afternoon, good morning, Michael. Thanks, Karen, and thank you all for joining. Uh, for those of you who are uh, returning, uh, welcome back. For those of you who are new, um, I'm Michael Horvitz. I'm the Partnership Director at HighLink uh, or China AOR for Brand USA, and welcome. Uh, we're going to introduce you to our OTA platforms today just to give you a very broad overview. There's a lot to cover. I'm going to breeze through some and go a little bit deeper into others, but we'll be happy to answer any questions that any of you have um, following our webinar. Um, excellent. We're going to get started. Our agenda, we're going to run through the Chinese Traveler as well as a few overviews of the OTA market in general, and then we're going to take a deeper dive into C-Trip, Fliggy, and Mafungo, who are the three uh, OTA partners um, that we're going to include in our packages that Karen will speak to later on. And then we'll open it up for questions. To give you a brief background on the China OTA uh, Traveler, um, this is a very young millennial uh, focused audience. About 67% of the Chinese outbound travelers are millennials. They're born after 1980. Um, we're going to refer to this as sort of our sweet spot um, target audience. So as we talk about the OTAs, you'll hear us refer to these folks as the decision makers in the uh, travel process. Um, they're heavily uh, online, uh, about 20 hours per week. Some of the activities and reasons behind why they are traveling abroad, uh, living better, more experiences, more fun, um, and expanding culture. These are things to keep in mind as you're creating uh, content um, to hand off to these folks uh, when they are in the travel booking process. Uh, for those that are unfamiliar, we refer to the uh, China Digital Marketplace as uh, BAT or, uh, or BATS. Um, this refers to Baidu, which is basically the Google of China, um, Alibaba, which is kind of a combination of uh, eBay and Amazon um, in the China market, and then Tencent, which is kind of uh, Facebook. These are the major digital conglomerates, and this gives you kind of an idea of the different platforms and apps that these um, platforms uh, own and have in-house. Um, I want to quickly point out uh, the C-Trip icon for Baidu. That's the uh, dolphin. And then for Alibaba, it is the uh, Fliggy icon, uh, formerly uh, C-Trip, or excuse me, formerly Alitrip, um, under the booking icon for Alibaba. Um, and then there is uh, Tencent, which is the owner of WeChat, um, for those of you who are on our social platform webinar. So the three OTAs that we're going to focus on, the first of which is C-Trip. Uh, most of you, I'm sure, are familiar with this already. This is the largest booking uh, travel site um, in China. It accounts for approximately 75% uh, of all uh, bookings. Uh, this is equivalent to the Expedia or Booking.com in, in our marketplace. And then there is uh, Fliggy. Uh, Fliggy is formerly Alitrip. Uh, part of the reason why we really like Fliggy is it is part of uh, Alibaba and the Alimama advertising network. So the equivalent here would be to essentially have access to the Google ad network space where if you participate uh, you get advertising in and around the other platforms that are on uh, the Alibaba network. Fliggy is also particularly popular for um, foreign outbound travel, um, and you will see that quickly growing uh, in the China marketplace. This is really where a lot of folks are looking to go um, to the United States from China. 
Uh, and lastly is Mafungo. Mafungo is an independent platform uh, similar to TripAdvisor. Uh, this is really important in the planning stage of the travel process. It's really popular among Chinese millennials. Similar to TripAdvisor, except one of the nuances that we really like about Mafungo is you can actually book on the site. So imagine reading a review or reading a travel guide or itinerary from a previous traveler. You actually can go in and either book their itinerary or parts of their itinerary. This is also really um, popular among um, millennials. So you'll hear us talk about this a little bit more in depth. Some background on the uh, China holiday campaign calendar. So just a, a rule of thumb for um, how booking works. Chinese travelers tend to start researching about 90 days in advance and then book about 45 days in advance. So it's important that as we talk about our planning and our, our media buying schedule, we keep these dates in mind of getting our creative ready and putting together our media buy package based on this time frame. Uh, some of the campaign uh, periods that we look at, summer vacation between April and June, um, mid-autumn festival, um, and, uh, and Chinese New Year as well in for um, September and October. Uh, for those that don't know, um, Singles Day, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this before. This is 11.11. This is a, imagine um, Black Friday and Cyber Monday rolled into one. Singles Day is the most important consumer holiday of the year in China. It was started by Alibaba, um, Jack Ma about uh, 10 years ago or so. Uh, approximately $20 billion is transacted um, on a single day. This is also where a lot of discount travel takes place. So you'll see uh, this is a peak buying day um, for outbound travel. And now we'll get into C-TRIP. So C-TRIP is uh, China's largest OTA. Um, it also is a majority shareholder of Kunar. I know some of you have uh, mentioned that before. C-TRIP is uh, really the, the number one OTA site. 300 million registered users, um, 75 million daily active users particularly popular among Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3 cities. These are really the people that are outbound from, from China. Um, again, uh, a very young audience, uh, folks born after 1980 account for about 60% of their audience um, and highly educated. This is um, really a, a pivotal, pivotal platform in our, um, in our packages, and you'll hear us talk about um, the different advertising and nuanced platforms that are available within it. Uh, just to give kind of background on how the OTAs are structured from a sales standpoint. So they have a product team that is basically responsible for trying to acquire um, hotels and destination partners to put product up on the site. And then there is a separate um, media sales team that handles the advertising um, on the site. So keep in mind um, it's a little convoluted as, um, as how they operate. Um, so you want to make sure that we're communicating with the right people at the right platform. Uh, they combine uh, all of their big data traveler insights to put together a, a really comprehensive uh, marketing platform. C-TRIP incorporates um, both uh, tour groups, uh, hotels, flights, uh, and trains across the board to, um, uh, as part of their booking apparatus. That also includes um, restaurants as well as um, activities. C-TRIP also has their own um, C-Money, uh, which is similar to um, uh, Alipay or, or WePay, we, we liken it to, um, I guess, Apple Pay here. Um, these are important aspects of uh, making your destination and your hotel operators uh, a little bit more conducive to the Chinese traveler. We can talk about that um, as we get into the packages later on. Uh, but this also includes uh, group buying and, and car services as well um, in how they are structured 
for uh, for the buyer. Uh, they also have a destination marketing service group. Uh, this department is uh, works to overhaul the different uh, destinations and activities uh, to incorporate into the product service that they offer to um, destinations. Some examples of uh, places that uh, are part of their 300 some odd uh, uh, locations. Um, Brand USA, of course, is um, our flagship. Uh, partner for um, C-Trip. Some of their digital assets look very similar to what our digital assets look here. Banner ads, display ads, um, of course in home page and, um, and widescreen form. Um, we're accustomed to seeing this here as well in, in the States. One of the other assets is a dedicated landing page. So within the Brand USA Pavilion, destinations will have the opportunity to have their own dedicated landing page. This includes an opportunity to have custom content, video, photos, um, as well as opportunities to include your own KOLs or C-Trip KOLs um, as part of the overall Brand USA package uh, that's included. This shows the overall uh, GoUSA C-Trip flagship store. This is an idea of what that uh, pavilion page looks like. And from here, our different uh, partners will be featured um, coming out of this uh, store pavilion. C-Trip also has their own uh, grouping of social promotions. So they will send out uh, WeChats. They'll send out Weibo messages. Um, they also will have uh, news articles in uh, Tutiao. Um, that's basically the CNN app of China. This also includes um, email direct messaging. So C-Trip has a database of likely travelers. They work in concert with our partners to include the most likely candidates um, that will uh, seek travel to their destination. And the open rate is approximately 15 to 20 percent, which is um, about almost four times uh, the rate that it ordered the industry averages. Uh, one of the un unique parts of Chinese OTAs is that they have their own line of uh, what we call um, travel KOLs or key opinion leaders. These are basically social influencers. So as part of a package, um, partners will be able to use KOLs that work for these OTAs. Um, they either will travel to uh, your destination or they've already been there and can use content to write and uh, WeChat messages send out um, on your destination. This is one of the unique features of Chinese OTAs. Just a couple examples of uh, some case studies. We'll include these um, for you to see at the end, um, but we're going to, in the essence of time, uh, skip ahead. So now we're going to introduce uh, Fliggy, which is formerly uh, AliTrip and is part of the Alibaba network. Uh, Fliggy is one of the faster growing OTAs in China. Um, it will surpass C-Trip for foreign outbound travel. Uh, this is one of the reasons why we really like it. Uh, 220 million registered users, uh, uh, about 10,000 different merchants that are on there. 100 million app downloads. So you'll hear us talk about how important mobile is um, in China, particularly during the um, research process, that 90-day out period that we, uh, that we always talk about. Um, this is also important for um, independent millennials. These are uh, affluent, uh, well-educated young travelers who either go as a couple or individually. Um, this is a very unique, uh, unique feature. Um, another reason why we are, are 
big on Fliggy is since it's part of the uh, Alibaba network, um, the assets that are included uh, include advertising across the Alimama uh, network. That means getting ads on places like Tmall, which is one of the largest e-commerce platforms in China. It's equivalent to um, our Amazon.com. So a few features of, of how Fliggy uh, looks and feels. Um, we talk about store pavilions. These are basically look like websites within websites. This is the storefront for Brand USA. We call it a country banner um, at the top with a, with a brand video. This also includes travel strategies and guides. So these are custom um, writings on destinations as well as KOL recommendations. You can either use your own KOLs um, or use uh, Fliggy KOLs um, that they have in-house. And then there are feature travel packages. Uh, this is booking in, um, in bulk, a series of um, flights, hotels, restaurants, and activities, as well as some destination recommendations. This is all customized um, and put together based on each destination. Again, you'll see this for both uh, PC and mobile. Um, it works across both uh, devices. Just some of the differences between uh, Fliggy and Ctrip. Um, Ctrip obviously has a much larger market share, uh, but we also look at Fliggy because of the access to the Alimam advertising network. This reaches approximately 800 million uh, users in China. Um, it's also a little bit more specific in uh, millennials, um, and its primary focus is international travel, whereas Ctrip is really focused on, um, is focused on both domestic and international. Um, Kunar, which you've heard of us mentioned before, um, is really about discount travel. Um, it's popular for international booking, but it, um, uh, cheaper bookings are not really the focus for international travel it has more to do with um, domestic. Another item uh, to point out for Fliggy and, uh, and why it's important, since it's part of the Alibaba network, um, Singles Day is particularly important for Fliggy. So you'll hear us talk about 1111. There is a um, promotion and a pavilion uh, built around Singles Day for Fliggy. We'll mention that later on and get into more detail. Again, just for, for background, um, approximately $2.5 billion was spent uh, during Singles Day. Uh, Fliggy had over 100 million bookings um, and 10 million U.S. dollars in a day. Excuse me, sellers made over $10 million um, in just one day. This is on Singles Day alone, so it's a really significant um, sales period. Again, some of the other uh, places that are included on the Alimama ad network, we talked about Tmall um, as well as the Alibaba homepage and uh, AliExpress and AliPay, which is equivalent to their Apple Pay. Um, these ad assets are uh, customizable and they're available both for PC and mobile users. Again, just a few examples of what the um, ads look like across the Alimama ad network. Fliggy also is a very important um, app. It has uh, approximately 100 million downloads. So uh, one of the digital assets that we're excited about as part of this uh, is receiving um, features or um, uh, inserts from push messages that Fliggy sends out. So it is possible to be featured um, in an app uh, push message.
These are just a few examples of some of the creative that is used on um, digital platforms in China. Again, we'll share with you some of the uh, case studies, but one I want to point out um, that was done uh, last year was for um, Secret Journey for uh, Dubai. Um, we're going to be uh, part of this promotion uh, for Fliggy this year. Um, Ten people won a secret journey. They showed up to the airport, didn't know where they were going, um, got a two-week trip to um, Dubai. Um, this accounted for approximately a 400% increase in uh, site visits to uh, the Dubai Pavilion within Flicky. Next, I'm going to introduce uh, Mafungo. Mafungo is a um, millennial-focused uh, travel research uh, app, uh, very similar to um, TripAdvisor or Yelp. Um, this is really the first point of entry. So when we talk about that 90 days of research, travelers often go to Mafungo first they look up what their friends have done or what other people have done on trips, where they went, where they stayed, how they got there. Um, it's an important aspect of the process. We're going to um, also mention that this is unique because um, unlike TripAdvisor and Yelp, you can actually book somebody's entire trip or parts of their trip off of Mofungo. The other reason why we like it is that it is um, heavily targeted to what we refer to as that travel or decision maker. These are the millennials between 19 and 35. They're typically either booking for themselves or as a couple, as well as for their families. So this is the age bracket um, and target audience that really is the decision maker that winds up taking um, the entire family on, on a trip. One of the aspects of travel for, um, in China is how important uh, social influence is. So what's unique about Mafungo is it is a house for user-generated content. What's unique about Mafungo is they will actually create custom travel guides that mirror that of user-generated content. So these are custom guides that are made on your destination but they read and look and feel as if they were written and done so by an actual traveler. And in certain instances, uh, there are KOLs, again, that you can use to write a travel guide on your destination. So a few items that they have, um, the travel itineraries that, uh, that we've mentioned. This is a, a, a feature where people have written out uh, basically a digital diary of their trip. Uh, you can download um, travel strategies. These are PDFs that people read to get information on where they're going. Uh, they have their own KOLs, uh, both in-house as well as uh, popular travel KOLs who write on Mafungo. There are individual travel packages that are available for purchase within Mafungo. So unlike TripAdvisor and Yelp, you can actually purchase on Mafungo. And again, user-generated content uh, is really important, social influence being a, a really key staple of um, driving traffic in, in China. So this is a little background on what these travel strategies and guidebooks look like. Um, you can see some of the more popular downloads. Um, these are, there's approximately uh, 26 different um, travel strategies available. Um, for U.S. destinations. For those of you that um, may not be part of those 26, one of the unique features is that they can actually be written on your destination even if somebody hasn't visited and written on your destination in the past. Again, just a little bit of an overview of what these look like. They encompass maps and articles. Uh, Content can be embedded into this, including um, photos. And again, Mafungo is one of the more popular uh, travel mobile apps, so everything will be mobile enabled. 
This is just a breakout of some of the different features across the Mofungo mobile app. We can share all of this with you um, after um, and happy to answer questions on it as well. Um, again, you'll recognize a lot of these assets are very similar to what we have here. Um, widescreen banner, uh, home page uh, banner, display ads, etc. And again, a few examples of uh, creative. And we'll provide you with uh, this deck so you all can read some of the case studies um, that's been used before. But one of the uh, ones that we wanted to bring your attention um, was the Singapore Travel Board. Um, this was a uh, competitive promotion that they did around their uh, zoos in Singapore as well as some of their other um, locations. Uh, this garnered um, over 200,000 downloads. Uh, at over 16 million impressions uh, in under a year. And just to give everybody a recap, uh, always like having a little cheat sheet. Sea uh, Trip, the largest OTA, um, approximately 75% of, of bookings, uh, 300 million registered users, part of the Baidu platform. Uh, Fliggy, again, um, Singles Day promotion is, is really important as well as part of the um, Alimama ad network. Uh, and Mafungo, uh, you can think of it as the trip advisor and really part of that research process 90 days out. Um, we're going to turn it back over to um, Karen. Um, thank you all for joining and we'll uh, get started on questions. Thanks so much, Michael. Um, I, I always find this fascinating, and I learn so much every time I listen to this because it is a unique market, but it is such a powerful market. So what I'd like to do is um, just take a moment and go through the Brand USA packages just to give you a top line of how we've created programs for our partners. And I don't think I can flip, so if someone can move to the next slide for me. So what we have created for our partners is within our own brand USA pavilions and our negotiations with these with the three OTAs and OTPs we're working with, we have created marketing packages that get uplifted by the programs that we do just from a brand perspective. Um, your representatives can talk in more detail. We've been working with CTRIP for a while and we've seen great results. And so this is how we have packaged programs out. I believe that if you're just entering the marketplace, CTRIP would be your number one priority to work with, despite all our excitement with Fliggy, because they have packaged, organized products are ready to go. To go to the next slide. All right, one second. Oops. We've also created a USA Pavilion with Fliggy that all USA destinations and partnerships will live within. We have multiple packages. We actually have four packages but I've listed here two of the pavilion packages, particularly for our partners who are just entering um, the Fliggy brand. And so we will also put those together. And if you go to the next slide, we have also done the same with Mafuango. Brand USA's brand-led team is going to be working with Mafuango on keeping, creating the initial guide. If you have a lot of content and you've been in market for a while, this would probably be your next step that I would encourage you to look at. And so this just gives you an outline of how we would package this within the Mofuango guidebooks. And there is um, a really exciting program there. Come mid-2018, we'll be offering up a much richer and deeper Mofuango opportunities for our partners through our multi-channels, which will be great. Next slide. And now we're going to open the floor for questions and answers. Uh, so I'm going to turn, ask Brian. Brian, have we had any questions come in yet? Thanks, Karen. Um, so far, no, there's no questions on the chat. So for those of you who are listening via the broadcast, in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen is a blue icon, and you can type in your chat question there. Um, I'm also going to ask the operator for those who have dialed in to provide instructions on how to ask the question. Thank you. And if you would like to ask a question over the phone, please signal by pressing star 1 on your telephone keypad. If you're using a speakerphone, please make sure your mute function is turned off to allow your signal to reach our equipment. 
A voice prompt on the phone line will indicate when your line is open. Please state your name before posing your question. Again, press star 1 to ask a question, and we'll pause for a moment to allow everyone an opportunity to signal for questions. And as we are pausing, I had a question come across my email earlier this morning, Michael, and uh, that I want to ask you about, and that is uh, Fliggy and the 11.11 promotion. Just as we all know what um, Black Friday or Cyber Monday is like and how much is out there, how does a destination stay above the clutter of um, everything that's for sale on 11.11? Do you have any insights on that? Yes, so the great question, Karen. So one of the great aspects of um, some of the assets that we have available are some of the push messages, some of the social uh, drivers that bring people to the destination. So this helps keep us above the fold. Additionally, some of the assets that we have available are featured much closer to what we refer to as sort of home base or the starting point of when somebody enters the site. So it will be featured on the uh, home page and the top of the Brand USA pavilion. So fortunately, destination partners don't get buried underneath and folks have to clutter through to search. A lot of the assets are featured very close to the home page, if not immediately on it. Great. And let me ask a second question while we're waiting. If we, are, if we have some of our partners who are just entering China from a consumer standpoint, and they had to make a choice between Fliggy or C-Trip today, how, how would you recommend, Michael, we w they should move forward? I've, I know how I've been suggesting that. So I, it's a great question. So, you know, C-Trip really is the, the, the big 800-pound uh, gorilla as part of the, of the booking process. Fliggy is great um, because of the different assets that it includes across the, um, across the Alimama network. So for those who are just entering, um, Fliggy has some great assets, but C-Trip is, is a great place um, to be included because of how large the, des the, how large the OTA is. But secondly, Fliggy also, because it focuses so heavily and is popular among millennials, it's also a great place to um, get above the clutter, as we mentioned before. Great. Thank you, Michael. Do we have any other questions, Operator? Currently no questions on the phone. Great. And Brian, have, have we had any questions come through via the online chat? Yes, we do. Um, so, uh, Michael, sir, are you guys seeing the questions come in on your side? Yes. So I'm going to start. I'm just going to scroll up. Um, I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm going to start with um, uh, Maria asked, uh, do we have case studies on U.S. cities? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, we're happy to um, provide those. Um, we're also going to move down to uh, Steve to get started with these markets. Uh, what's the very first step? Um, I'm assuming Steve is asking about getting started with um, this process of, of joining with China OTAs. Um, you know, Brand USA has these sort of really great introductory packages to get started. Um, that's really the best place to go uh, because it's all encompassing um, rather than having to work directly with the platforms themselves. Uh, Colleen is asking, uh, does Brand USA have any opportunities to work with KOLs on any of these platforms? Uh, Colleen, um, the answer is yes. These platforms have. Um, their own KOLs uh, that are accessible, um, and they're basically travel social influencers uh, within these OTAs. Uh, Brooke is asking, is the advice now not to use uh, Weibo and WeChat to link to preferred OTAs? Uh, Brooke, the, uh, good question. Um, it is not to avoid um, social media, um, we were incorporating um, the importance of OTAs as part of the overall media mix um, of how best to reach Chinese travelers inclusive of social media. 
Uh, Kristen is asking, uh, how would we connect a KOL to visit our destination and create content for one of the OTAs? Um, this can be done uh, with the OTAs themselves. So they will uh, offer you a KOL um, to use. So you can actually go directly to the publisher. Uh, Nicholas is asking uh, regarding 90% of the Chinese travelers. Um, the, this data is based on um, I believe it was 2016. Um, so we can go back and check the date um, and we can update the slide um, as need be. Uh, Alan is asking about uh, Tunyu, uh, which is uh, another uh, China OTA. Um, didn't really make the, 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 the barrier, uh, so to speak, in our um, going through selecting the OTAs. The three that we picked um, were done so um, for a variety of reasons, but su suffice it to say, um, we picked the ones that were the most popular and those that we felt are also going to be the most popular in the years to come, uh, particularly with Mafunguo and Fliggy. Um, so we didn't want to spend time educating people on OTAs that we didn't feel were going to have the same kind of value um, maybe a year from now. Let me add something to that though, Michael, is we are not working with them from a consumer standpoint right now from a marketing standpoint, but our trade team is working them with them from a product development and distribution standpoint. And we're in the process of um, creating, we need to establish that on a brand with A level first. So there will, there will be a program or there may be a program with them from a trade perspective. What we are doing from a consumer strategy perspective here is where can we get the biggest reach and where can we negotiate the best marketing opportunities to engage our partners with. And these were three OTAs and OTPs that came forward that we have been looking at for a couple years. Uh, Shari Feldman is asking uh, if these sites work the same way as Expedia um, in the way that they uh, pay automatically based on sale or not on redemption. Um, the answer is yes. They, they operate the same way as American OTAs do. Um, each of them have um, a little bit different of a payment process, but um, yes, it works very similar to the way that it would here on Priceline or Expedia um, where um, uh, locations and businesses are paid directly. Uh, we have a question. Um, anyone have success with, the build, with building the payment portion um, for Fliggy? Um, I'm assuming that this is in reference to um, Alipay and some of the uh, systems that they have um, specific to electronic payment. Uh, we can provide some case studies of promotions that were used on that. Um, if I'm not answering that, um, feel free to uh, respond in the feedback. And I will also add to that is the programs that we are creating currently, we are not um, working on the payment system. It's exclusively a marketing program. It is a much more complex process to build out an active store that sells products. We know that many of our private sector partners are in the process are looking to do that. Uh, one of our, another question is, um, how can hotels contract with China OTAs? How can we put them in touch to make sure lodging is available for all parts of the destination, uh, especially rural areas? Um, so yes, there, um, there are what are referred to as product development teams. These are separate from the ad sales units. These are folks um, from the different OTAs who are actually in, in many cases are based here in the United States. Um, their job is to work with uh, hotel operators and destination operators uh, to get them uh, uploaded to the OTA. Um, and we can speak to uh, helping advise you on how best to do that. Let, I'm also going to add another point um, is that if you have an in-market representation team, that is one of their functions is to help to build out your product. If you personally don't have that, you might want to also check with your destinations or we can help you through that process. Uh, 
excellent. I think we're concluded on our questions. Great. Well, another very informative and exciting presentation. Uh, as many of our partners have heard, we have been working for the last year to really improve what our product offerings are for our partners in China that will create more consideration and activation so we can bring more people here. Again, I want to thank you all for being on the line before the holiday weekend. I want to thank our team at Highlink, and I want to thank the team back in D.C., Brooke and Brian, for putting this all together. And um, please feel free to re reach out to your team that works with you on Brand USA programs for further questions and discussions. We're excited about where we're going and the opportunities we have to work with our partners in the future on. Thank you all. Have a great weekend.